think the top three things that an inclusive leader should be thinking about right now is, first of all, listening. There's so much that is unfolding day by day in our external world. We must be looking at our employees' experience outside of the virtual walls, the four walls, used to be physical walls. But regardless, what we're bringing into work is, is so impacted by what's happening in the external world. And this is truer and truer for our talent, particularly our younger generations of talent, because uh, that generation uh, values uh, social issues deeply and is deeply aware because of social media and expects a level of transparency and uh, the naming of what's happening in the world uh, that impacts our ability to bring our full selves to work, as we say. And so the, the point I want to make is that what we should be listening for if we are inclusive leaders, and this doesn't even mean leaders, you know, because I have people reporting to me, this means leading at any level, really. All of us are inclusive leaders, right, to our colleagues, to our, our friends, to our communities. This goes beyond work as well. But, but the, the, the listening is so critical right now, hearing voices, hearing emotion, and sharing in that emotion and creating forums and containers for those discussions to occur is particularly important um, to not just to give a space for that, but for organizations to listen and learn and take action from what is heard.